So, guys, today we are doing a hundred questions. I don't know if we're going to get through them all. This on uh, BuzzFeed's website, if you want to check it out. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. I don't know if we're going to get through all these. I could do a part two if you want. Um, okay, so what was the last pic? What was the first picture you took on your phone? Um, I'll get it up for you. Um, going back a long way. Um, it's a picture of my friend when I first got my phone. And yeah, he's from my primary school. So yeah. Um, if you're watching, his name's Callum. If you're watching, um, shout out to you basically. Um, okay, do I know any big gossip? Not really. Um, have I been pulled over by a cop? Nope. And we're in the UK, so it's not called cop, it's called policeman. Um, do you know my, do I know my heritage? No, but I know the meaning of my surname, Wilkinson. Um, it means son of young Will. I don't know really if you need to know that, but yeah. Um, what have you always wanted? Um, I don't know. And did I ever... Did I ever get it? No, not really. I don't know what I want. Um, next question. I'm sorry that I'm not answering all these. I just don't really have an answer for them. Um, what kind of sickness have you lied about so you wouldn't go to school? Um, well, I've just said I had a cold once, I think. Um, what was the last lie I told? Um, Probably lying to my sister, I think, that I hadn't done a backflip on her um, mattress. Don't know why I did that, but yeah, <laughs> I was bored. Um, have I ever danced in the rain? Yeah, of course I have. Who hasn't? When you're five years old, that's the best thing you can do. Um, <laughs> next one. What's my blood type? I have no idea. Have I ever been in a car accident? No, luckily. Um, what's the weirdest prank call I've ever made? Uh, it was just on my friend saying that his Indian curry's ready in an Indian accent. If you want me to do prank calls though, comment down below. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'll see if I can do a prank call video. Uh, best compliment I've, I've ever received. Don't know. So many compliments. Don't listen to them. Well, I do, but I don't keep track of them. Um, what's my greatest strength or weakness? Um, probably greatest strength, I don't know, I guess I'm quite fast. Um, greatest weakness, I guess I put myself down a bit sometimes, but that's, yeah, that's not that bad. Um, do I trust anyone with my life? Yeah, probably, my mum, my dad, some of my best friends. Um, what's my perfect pizza? Um... I'm gonna say Pizza Express Sloppy Giuseppe. I get that every time I go there. Best. Best pizza there. Um, what was my first thought when I woke up this morning? Um, first thought was probably, oh yes, it's the holidays. I don't have to go to school. Um, don't really know, but yeah. Um, do I get along with my family? Yeah, of course I do. Um, why? Why do I? I don't know. guess I was born with them. Um, had to grow up with them. Just got used to them. Um, ugly and live forever or attractive and die in a year? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, if I was ugly and I lived forever, you'd see all your family and like relatives die and you'd, you'd have to move on and quite a lot really. You never get to stay with someone that long because they die, and then you'd just be left there, still living. Um, but if you were like 
attractive and only and died in a year. I don't know. That's a really tough one. I'd say attractive and uh, die in a year because if you live forever, it's just gonna it's gonna be like get you all emotionally unstable and stuff, isn't it? Um. Oh, okay. Uh, this is quite a long one. Would you discover that your wonderful one-year-old child is because of a mix-up at the hospital and not yours? Would you want to exchange the child uh, to correct the mistake? So basically, if you had a like miracle child, like the best child in the world, perfect everything, um, would and it but it was a hospital mix-up and they got your like child switched with someone else's would you go back to the hospital and change it um yeah probably because i'd know that it wasn't my child but then on the child's like point of view it would have a completely different life but i guess it is only one years old so it hasn't really lived with you that long um would i be willing to lie to a court for a close friend if it meant saving your friend from going to jail for life. Yeah, probably. Only if no one found out though, because if they found out, I'd probably go to prison. Um, next one. Um, would I be willing to eat a bowl of crickets for £40,000? Um, I think crickets are edible. I think they are. I've seen Bear Grylls do it and stuff. But, um, Forty thousand pounds. That's quite a lot of money. Um, could buy a nice car with that. Could buy a lot of Xbox games. Um, yeah, I would probably do that because if like you can eat crickets, you just got to go through one bowl and then you got a lot of money, really. Um, if I could have anyone locked in a room so that I could uh, torment them for a day. Oh, that's a bit of a horrible one, but uh, who would I choose and how would I torment them? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to answer that. That's a bit horrid, really. Um, do I feel that uh, children should be sheltered from unhappiness? Um, I don't really know. I'm a child, um, but sheltered from unhappiness. But if once they become an adult and they've never felt like unhappiness it's going to be a big shock to them so I don't think so they I think they should just live a normal life and if they're if they're all unhappy and stuff I think they should just see someone about it but you can't just stop everyone from having that um, if I could personally witness anything what um, would you want to see so if I could have seen anything what would I want to see um I don't know maybe like I'd say probably the Big Bang that would be quite cool or maybe or maybe the end of the world I don't know because that's going to happen in a while I'm going to be dead obviously um but I think if I saw the end of the world that would be pretty cool might be like the whole earth blowing up or just burning up into a ball of nothing. I don't know. <laughs> um, next one. If I could wake up tomorrow in the body of somebody else, who would I pick and what would I do? Um, that is a bit of a tough one. I would probably wake up in... don't know. I really don't know. Um, maybe like a faint... or maybe a homeless person. Because I wouldn't mind, like seeing what it's like to be homeless. If that, I know, I know that sounds a bit weird, but it's just a bit of a bit of a weird concept, really. I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, next one. If I could be any age for a week, what age would I be? Probably two years old. Because you just all one less than one years old, I'd say. Uh, because you just you just look cool, you just look funny, you get a load of attention. <laughs> um, if I could only have one meal for the rest of your my life, what would it be? Um, 
chili con carne probably. I like chili con carne. <laughs> um, where do I go to get on a computer? Um, well, I've got my laptop right here. Um, but I've also got a computer downstairs, so here or there. Um, I'm going to leave this the last question. Um, done 30 questions after this one. Um, how do I start a conversation? Um, don't really know. I'll do one more because that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, what keys on the keyboard do you not use? Um, well, I'll just have a check. I probably don't use... Um, I don't use the arrow keys very much. Um, don't know. I probably don't... I probably don't use most, like, just command keys, like, doing stuff. I don't, I don't use the arrows, don't use like alt much, I don't know. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'll try and get one, uh, another video uploaded tomorrow. Um, if you want me to do daily uploads, I can, I'll try and do that. Um, but otherwise, I'll try and do once every two days. Um, but I'm sorry the uploading's been a bit on and off lately, I've just had a bit of stuff going on okay so i'll see you in the next video um if you enjoyed comment down below give this a thumbs up share with friends subscribe all that good stuff okay and i'll see you in the next